At the time of recording this video, the S&P 500 has dipped 8.63% over the month of September. Likewise, since the beginning of 2022, it's dropped 24%. Similarly, NASDAQ, which covers the technology sector of the stock market, has dropped 9.07% over the month of September and 32.72% since the beginning of 2022. With the stock market already dropping a little more than 24% since the beginning of 2022, and knowledgeable individuals predicting even worse drops before the economy gets better, what do you do to prepare against that? Hey everyone, Eric here and welcome back to the channel. In this episode of the public.com public dividend portfolio, we'll be going over exactly how to prepare yourself for a recession, break down the investments that I've made in the dividend portfolio since last month, and also give a shout out to all the adorable pets that I've been taking care of. So if that all sounds good to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And here's a short video of a pet that I took care of as a thank you. All right, so the stock market is dropping hard. How do you combat that? Can you even combat that? Well, step number one is unfortunately, go to safer investments. Now, if that sounds weird, I get it. But the whole point of investing in the first place is to grow your money instead of trying to lose it all during a recession. One of the best ways to combat a recession is to place your money in places that at least guarantee some sort of return. Whether it's a high yield savings account that promises at least a 2% APY, or a CD or certificate of deposit, or treasury bonds, they're all realistically better options to try and beat the stock market during a recession. After all, there's a crazy statistic out there that apparently something like 95% of active traders tend to lose money in the stock market. Whether or not you believe that statistic, it's completely up to you though. And while these types of investment places do not guarantee a to the moon type of investment, they guarantee that your money will at least be safe. A high yield savings account of 2% APY or more guarantees that the rate that the bank sets will be paid out to you throughout the year. Banks like SoFi, Wealthfront, Capital One, and Ally Bank all guarantee at least a 2.1% APY, meaning for a $10,000 investment, you'll make at least $210 year over year. Comparatively, if you put that same $10,000 into the stock market at the beginning of this year, you would lose $2,400 in this S&P 500 or $3,300 in the NASDAQ. CDs or certificate of deposits are a special type of savings account where you deposit your money into an account and agree not to make any withdrawals within a certain period of time. Once your time is up, you get your money back and additionally, the initial interest that was initially agreed upon. Certificate of deposits are typically higher paying than a normal high yield savings account with the best CDs coming from Capital One, Barclays and Ally Bank, meaning for a $10,000 investment, you'll be getting at least $300 back year over year. Treasury bonds, specifically I bonds, are fixed rate interest bonds that are directly tied to inflation. So when inflation is high, I bonds tend to pay a lot. However, the opposite is true when inflation is low, I bonds will then vice versa pay less. Given the current state of the economy right now and inflation being stubbornly difficult to push down, I bonds are definitely a good option for a foreseeable future. The current going rate is 9.62%, which means that if the rate stays for an entire year, you'd be earning $962 for the initial $10,000 investment year over year. One caveat that I have with investing in I bonds is that when you invest in I bonds, your money is tied up for at least a year. Option two is what I like to call doubling down. The stock market is a lot like Newton's universal law of gravitation and the phrase what goes up must come down. Similarly, bear and bull markets are synonymous to that message. Taking a look at a historical chart where bear and bull markets are graphed side by side, you can definitely tell that one key storyline is playing out. No matter how bad the bear market gets, the bull market always comes out ahead, which holds true when statistically speaking because the S&P 500 increases 8.5% year over year adjusted after inflation, which again further solidifies the message that no matter how bad the bear market gets, the stock market's average trajectory is an increasing one. So by doubling down, which means buying stocks on a regular basis as the stock market goes down, means that when the stock market enters bull territory again, you'll be in a really good position. Granted, however, that the companies that you buy are blue chip stocks that have an extremely rare chance of going bankrupt. And finally, option three is investing in recession resistant stocks as well as you guessed it dividend stocks everyone has heard the quote 
time in the market is better than timing the market or some variation of that throughout the years. Buying a recession resistant stock that pays out a dividend will help alleviate some of the loss that you'd be taking otherwise in a recession. Companies such as Coke, which I'm making heavy pushes in, has resisted multiple recessions over the years. For instance, during the pandemic crash of 2020, the housing market crash of 2008, and the dot-com bubble crash of the early 2000s, Coke has remained strong. All the while during this entire time has consistently paid out a dividend to its investors for 58 consecutive years. And for those of you out there that don't know what dividends are, a dividend is a distribution of the company's earnings to its shareholders and is determined by the company's board of directors, which basically means that the company is giving you a portion of the company's profits. All right, so just to recap this portion of the video, the three steps that I would personally take if the stock market is going or is currently in a recession, one, invest in safer investments, meaning high yield savings accounts, certificate of deposits, or treasury bonds. Two, doubling down, meaning continue to invest on the downtrend to position yourself in an advantageous spot when the stock market bounces back. And three, investing in recession resistant and dividend stocks. Now a word from our sponsors. On the left, we have Agave. Then we had Peanut in the middle. And last but not least, on the right, we have Mimi, a very feisty young kitten who love to climb things. And as you can tell, is very rambunctious as well. All right, that's it. All right, let's talk about the dividend portfolio. So over the past month, I've invested $900 into the portfolio, which comparatively to last month is 80% more than normal. I've made huge leaps into Exxon, buying seven total shares, which brings our total to eight shares. With Realty Income Corporation, I bought four total shares, which brings our total to 10 shares. And with Coca-Cola, I bought two total shares, which brings our total to nine shares. With dividends for this month, I got a $3.08 dividend paid out by Coca-Cola, and then a couple of random one cent dividends for ETFs that public.com gave me when I first started this portfolio. Bringing our monthly dividend increase to $3.10 and bringing our yearly dividend increase to $5.37, which when you think about it is actually pretty insane. Remember that the yearly dividend amount will only increase over time and getting paid three dollars for doing virtually no work is always amazing now if you look at the overall portfolio however it's not doing so hot pulling up the six month chart you can see that we've lost 3.55 percent or 69 dollars and nine cents while it's beating the overall stock market, what we're trying to do with this portfolio is to make passive income at the end of the day. Obviously, that's harder to achieve in a bear market or during a recession. And the reason as to why I'm not trying to time the market or pull my entire fund out is because I'm personally employing step number two and step number three that I just talked about earlier in this video. I'm doubling down to create an advantageous position when the stock market bounces back and I'm investing in recession resistant stocks that provide dividends. The dividends will always be paid out, they aren't going away, and are basically free passive income. The stocks that I've picked in my own personal opinion will bounce back given their previous history during other times of recession, so I'm not all too worried about the money that I'm currently losing, especially because this is extra money that I won't be needing anytime soon. In all three stocks that I'm heavily investing in right now, I'm sitting well under their peaks, and that distance will continue to grow as I continue to double down. But when the stock market bounces back, I'll be in a great position and in the meantime, I'll just collect those dividend checks. Alright, I think that wraps up this month's public.com public dividend portfolio update. If you were able to learn a thing or two from watching this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I understand that it's probably not the most fascinating thing to watch at this very moment, but I promise you, just like this portfolio, the value will compound over time. So with that all being said, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching as always. Stay safe out there, everyone. Peace.